The largest city in the state of hockey hasn't had a public school in the boys state hockey school tournament hockey tournament for nearly three decades. But as Maury Glover shows us, the city's hockey program is seeing a resurgence and is hoping to make a run to the state tournament. A lot of pride just feels good to represent Minneapolis. Most high school hockey teams play for just one school. But Minneapolis hockey is playing for an entire city. It's the best we've been in a long time, so it's, uh, it's really special to be a part of it. Minneapolis hockey is a cooperative made up of players from the city's seven remaining public high schools. With a 19-6-1 record, the team has the best chance of any of their predecessors in recent memory to put Minneapolis back in the state tournament since 1994. Well, it's been a long time coming. Uh, I feel like you know, this is my 10th year and this is by far the, the best team that I've had and the best group of kids that are committed to hockey players that want to get better. And Minneapolis used to be a powerhouse in high school hockey, with Southwest becoming the first and only public school in the city to win a boys hockey state tournament in 1970 and a runner-up four years later. But private schools and open enrollment led to a decline in the number of varsity hockey teams in Minneapolis from 11 in its heyday five decades ago to just one combined team now. You haven't really heard of Minneapolis recently, and I think it will be really good for this team to be recognized more and have the youth kids look up to us more. The team has to win two more games to make it to the state tourney, but facing off at center ice at the X is the ultimate goal. We have a lot of expectations, and we're hoping to live up to them, but it's not going to be easy. In Minneapolis, Maury Glover, Fox 9.